Welcome to video 3 for this unit on quadratic equations. In this video, we are going to focus on completing the square. A perfect square is an expression that is something times itself. Usually, we are interested in situations in which the something is an expression with rational coefficients. When expressions that are perfect squares are written in factored form and standard form, there is a predictable pattern. In general, the quantity x plus n squared is equivalent to x squared plus 2n times x plus n squared. So the quantity x minus 9 squared is equivalent to x squared minus 18x plus 81. Quadratic equations that are in the form of a perfect square equal to a perfect square can be solved in a straightforward manner. Here is an example. x squared minus 18x plus 81 equals 25. The equation now says squaring x minus 9 gives 25 as a result. This means x minus 9 must be 5 or negative 5. So x equals 14 and x equals 4 are solutions to the equation. Turning an expression into a perfect square can be a good way to solve a quadratic equation. Suppose we wanted to solve x squared minus 14x plus 10 equals negative 30. Let's transform the left side of the equation into a perfect square while keeping the equality of the two sides. Subtract 10 from each side, and then add 49 to each side. The left side is now a perfect square because x squared minus 14x plus 49 is equivalent to the quantity x minus 7 squared. If a number squared is 9, the number has to be 3 or negative 3. So x equals 10 and x equals 4 are solutions to the equation. This method of solving quadratic equations is called completing the square. In general, perfect squares in standard form look like x squared plus bx plus b over 2 squared. So to complete the square, take half of the coefficient of the linear term and square it. In the example, Half of negative 14 is negative 7, and negative 7 squared is 49. In general, the quantity kx plus m squared can be written as the quantity kx squared plus 2 times kx times m plus m squared, or k squared x squared plus 2kmx plus m squared. If a quadratic expression is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, then the value of a is k squared. The value of b is 2km, and the value of c is m squared. We can use this pattern to solve quadratic equations. Let's look at 16x squared plus 40x equals 11. 16 is a, or k squared. So k is 4, and the factors could be the quantity 4x plus m squared. 40 is equal to 2 times 4m, so m equals 5. Because c is m squared, c is 25. So the expression 16x squared plus 40x plus 25 is a perfect square and is equivalent to the quantity 4x plus 5 squared. Now we can solve the equation 16x squared plus 40x equals 11 by completing the square. So x equals 1 fourth and x equals negative 11 over 4 are solutions to the equation. 
When a number is not a perfect square, like 11, we can express its square roots by writing the square root of 11 and negative square root of 11. These are examples of irrational numbers. How could we write the solutions to an equation like the quantity x plus 4 squared equals 11? This equation is saying something squared is 11. To make the equation true, that something must be the square root of 11 or the negative square root of 11. We can write x plus 4 equals the square root of 11 or x plus 4 equals the negative square root of 11. Then x equals negative 4 plus the square root of 11 or x equals negative 4 minus the square root of 11. A more compact way to write the two solutions to the equation is x equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 11. We can use a calculator to compute the approximate values of both expressions. So x is about negative 0 0.683 or x is about negative 7.317. Thank you for watching video 3 of 6 for this unit on quadratic equations.